Fuck you, Ripple. I hate you. The Ripple Swell Conference fucked us over. The Ripple Swell Conference was a huge disappointment to many people and it shows in the Ripple charts. You can see everybody selling off big amounts of Ripple because they were waiting for the conference for it to go up and then it went up a tiny bit. It was a huge disappointment. People started selling and now more people are going to start selling. We're going to do some research so that we're not acting out of emotion and we're not impulse selling and we're not selling out of fear. So that if we do sell our Ripple, we're doing it out of logic and out of taking a step back, seeing the bigger picture rather than just looking at the small little picture of the past couple days on the charts. We could tell by the Swell Conference that Ripple is against us. Ripple uh, puts itself on a pedestal in this community. They don't think that they are like other cryptocurrencies. They don't even think they are a cryptocurrency. They hate Bitcoin and they would never invest in ICOs or cryptocurrencies. So we see that they are basically um, the same type of people as bankers. So that's why they're working well with bankers, which is okay. It's not a bad thing. Anybody is has the freedom to adapt blockchain technology and use it in their company. It doesn't make Ripple bad because they have different opinions and different perceptions on things. Because we get our opinions and perceptions and judgments by how we were raised and how we were brought up in the environment we were uh, brought up and work in. So it's no surprise. It should be no surprise to anybody what happened. Okay, hey guys, Crypto Keith here. It is one day after the conference, the Ripple Swell conference, and everybody's in panic mode and selling off their cryptocurrency. So, is it a good time for you to sell your Ripple? Uh, even if you bought it higher than it's currently at today? Well, we'll answer that question for you. First of all, we're going to share a video with you. This is a video by Bitcoin Crypto Fund. This is a guy that um, his expertise, his expertise is in uh, Bitcoin signals and what signals and how to follow certain signs in the in the markets and whether you should take those signals and uh, buy with um, because of them or sell. So um, this guy, he has uh, a team of export experts working on this stuff. So uh, and he has a lot of a lot of money and a lot of other people's money. And so I take what he says seriously. Uh, Ripple, look. 260, this started as over 300. Over 300 Bitcoin uh, for sale, and it's right up against the sell line. What that means, again, this, yeah, think of this as a huge tsunami, think of this as the beach, and... Wait, 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 tsunami? I thought we started out with a small ripple. Now, turned into a swell, and that swell turned into a tsunami? Was this an inside joke by the Ripple team? Is this why they called their conference swell? I don't know, you're, you're in Santa Monica, or you're on Palm Beach in Florida, and a tsunami this big hits you, how high, how far is the water line gonna go? The water line's just gonna keep pushing from, oh my god. Oh my god, did it just move down? Um, 3905, 3, uh, 375, 372, uh, 35, 350. Wow. Uh, that's just gonna drive Ripple's price way down. I'm sorry, but uh, uh, Brad disappointed everybody and I lost a lot of money on this too. Uh, so, there you have it. There's an expert's opinion, and he's saying to sell. And I was debating the same thing. 
during the conference I was busy I was doing live streaming and coverage of the conference so I didn't have a chance to uh, to notice it's high and sell I should have put some stop orders in if I was smart for the 0 0.29 uh, mark and and then I wouldn't have to take a loss because I bought a lot of these at 0 0.23 0 0.24 before the concert conference and uh, it's sad you really should try not to sell lower than you buy but with that these signals that um, are telling us without a doubt what's going on in the market these big whales are selling off big amounts of ripple then uh, it's going to ripple out to the whole market and affect everything and it's going to keep dropping the price for for a, a week or so so and other people are going to see the, those cells and panic and start selling themselves so i do agree now is the time get most of your money out just so you don't lose more and uh, or put stop orders in for if it goes lower and uh, definitely protect yourself on this one i do think it's going to go up in the future but in the meantime we can cash out because this was a big thing that happened it was a big disappointment and so we're pretty confident that um, this news was not good we'll we'll wait for the next news to come and we'll buy if we know it's going to go up because of new announcements new news stuff like that so we'll have to try to keep on ripple in ripple news to know when to buy back if we sell today so I already sold 100 Ripple on Poloniex and I just moved 200 Ripple over from my funding wallet and I'm going to sell those 200 now. So uh, I had 250 in here, I'm selling 200 of those 250. So I'm keeping a, a small amount but I'm getting most of my, my investment out of there just to protect it. And it's at 0.22 right now. It was at 0.21, so now is a decent time to sell. I might sell some and then put a stop order in for a little bit higher, just in case it goes up a bit. So now I'm just putting stop orders in to try to average out my sell price to the highest amount possible. If it goes up a little bit, then these will trigger and make my overall sell um, at a little bit higher of a percentage. And then hopefully if it goes down drastically we can sell or sorry we can buy back at a lower cost since we know the market's going to go down due to all this negativity and all these big sell-offs. I have another account that I'd like to sign into and sell some Ripple. Bitcoin's back up today, a little bit higher from uh, 5,400, 5,500, now up to almost 5,700. So here's another, well in this account, I have 1,303 Ripple. Sadly, I have to sell a bit lower than I bought. But it's worth it to protect yourself from further losses. Move this thousand. 
she will keep we'll keep 200 we'll keep 200 uh, ripple which is about 50 bucks worth of ripple so we just transferred another 800. We just sold 300 here, and now we're gonna sell another 800. So I've sold a total of 1,500 Ripple today after this. Three, three to 400 dollars worth of Ripple I sold today. But it's worth it because we've seen Ripple go up 100 times, down 100 times, up 10 times, down 10 times. So I don't wanna see that one, uh, that $400 turn into $100 so protecting ourselves here but I am going to put some stop orders in because it's a bit low there so it's a bit low right now so I'm gonna put stop orders in to buy if it goes or to sell if it goes a bit higher so we're we put that order in to sell at 2.22 a bit higher than it's at now but not much so now let's go a bit more higher still want them to to fill so you don't want to put it too high and then they never fill and they're just sitting there and then ripple goes drastically down so don't put them too high There you have it. We have some open orders here that will fill when it hits those higher prices. Some people might have put lower stop orders in just in case it goes down, which I could have done that as well. And then if it goes down more, your, your coins sell, almost like a panic sale. And that's that. Ripple XRP is down six percent almost seven percent with the Bitcoin pair and it's actually up 1.5 percent in US dollar so the fact that Bitcoin went up is the only reason that this is down so ripple actually is up a little bit today which is promising and Bitcoin just broke the seven 5,700 mark. So there you have it. Make sure you check out Big Petite. The link is in the description to earn 4.5% interest daily or total return of 147% every six weeks of your investment. It's a good way to earn Bitcoin to trade with or earn Ether or Litecoin. I currently have $1,181 in there. I haven't even put that much into BitConnect. Hit that bell and subscribe if you haven't already. So I'm Crypto Keith. I'm going to head out here. So we'll talk to you next time.